Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, coming up on 1219 on your Friday afternoon. Matt, I'm excited for the weekend, and I hear it's going to be a nice one. It sure will. You know, we've got the sunshine out there now. The sunshine will give way to some clouds later today, but we'll have much more in the way of it this weekend and much warmer temperatures as well. One thing we got out there today is the wind whipping out of the north. You can see those flags really moving, looking out over Champlain, uh, the Champlain Islands toward Knight Island State Park. And right now, it's 47 degrees, so really not feeling very great out there. These are more typical temperatures that we would see in March. Around the region, Sydney in the 40s for most of us, a couple of 30s up there still in the Northeast Kingdom, and that's where we have more in the way of cloud cover. So our temperatures really won't budge too much higher from where they are right now. I think even in the Champlain Valley, we only top out around 50 or 51 degrees. So here's those clouds backing in from the north and east right into the northeast kingdom. We mentioned this might happen yesterday, and that's because this low pressure system, you might remember, it's in the same exact place as it was yesterday, kind of just stalling out here, throwing back some moisture, sort of the opposite of what you'd expect because normally our weather comes in from the west, but that's why we're seeing more in the way of the cloud cover. And over the next few days, it does slowly turn warmer for us, especially as we head into Sunday. And that's when we'll see the most sunshine this weekend. With dry weather persisting into early next week, I think the showers stay away till uh, about Wednesday of next week. So another thing we have today is the wind. We got it right out of the north coming down. So 30 to 35 miles per hour, and it'll begin to diminish as we head through this afternoon and evening. And we've got very dry air as well, so relative humidity sitting between 25 and 35 percent. So any cigarette butts or any spark will just could, could create a fire that's out of control. So just keep that in mind. Be careful if you've got an open burn going. Just keep a bucket of water or something to quickly put it out if things go wrong. Now the good news is the winds will diminish, but the cloud cover as we head through the afternoon will sort of continue to back into the west. I think northern New York. You're sitting in the sunshine for the rest of the day, but as we head toward the evening commute, we'll see more in the way of cloud cover for most of northern Vermont. And then even into tomorrow on Saturday, it doesn't look like we'll see too much in the way of sunshine until the afternoon. I think we'll see a lot of cloud cover, even more so than today. But the good news is high pressure finally moves in from the west here on Sunday, so the entire day looks just like perfect sunshine. And because of the high pressure, we'll have light winds on top of it. So just feeling like a day straight out of late spring, which is a nice change from these temperatures we'll see. So this afternoon, it'll get up to about the lower 50s for most of us in the Champlain Valley, cooler in the mid to upper 40s in the Northeast Kingdom, where we'll have more in the way of that cloud cover, but 56 there in the St. Lawrence Valley, Messina. Now tonight, it's another cold night. Temperatures down into the 30s for most of us. Could see some 20s there in the normally cooler spots, 26 to be exact in Saranac Lake. And then Saturday, as I mentioned, more in the way of clouds, but the sun really comes back in a big way for Sunday. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Now Monday, we did say it could get very warm, but it looks like some clouds will spoil the party. But the good news is it does look like we'll still get up to near 70 degrees by the time we see Tuesday. So we'll certainly be looking forward to that, Sarah Beth. Oh, I like those temperatures.